let's talk about how to import your assets into Hudu. Now, to find the import section, we're going to go to the admin tab and then scroll down to account administration to find this imports here. Now, we have a couple of options when importing our asset layouts. We either have the custom section here, which will pull from our existing custom layouts that we've built out and turn them into an import template, or we can start from a blank asset template. Now, let's start with the one that reflects our existing assets. As I go over here to one of our existing layouts, you'll see that we have these different fields here and the template will reflect that. And I'll show you the direct example. Here is the blank template that I downloaded when using the desktop for importing additional items into my Hudu instance. Now, as an important note, if you are importing items, some of these fields might be marked as required in your asset layouts. Be sure that these are not blank when importing or else that entity won't be able to come through. The other option I mentioned before, the blank asset layouts. Now, if we want to create brand new ones or we have existing data and we want to import that as is, we don't have to build a new asset layout from scratch. Instead, we can download this blank template and then add fields as we need. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here is our blank asset layout template that I downloaded. We have our company name and then the name of the entity. Now, in order to expand and create our own, I can add those additional fields here up at the top. And when we're ready to import, Huda will be able to identify those and create a new asset layout to reflect that. Like in this example here, I used that blank asset layout, but created a client type. So I added a name for this entity, a quick phone number and job title that we can then import and use as a consistent template. When we are ready to import our data, whether it's a blank asset layout or one of the custom templates, I can scroll down to the bottom and select this button here. It is important to make sure that we're choosing the right type. Like with our desktop, we want to be sure that we're choosing our desktop asset layout type or if we're creating a new one here. We are going to also name this asset layout and I use that client example. So let's name this layout clients. When I'm ready, I'm gonna choose my file for import, which I'll select now. When we're importing our data, we'll also be able to see the line number. In this case, this is number two, as the field headers will take that first line for us. But we also bring in the name, the entity name and the new fields that we brought in by selecting that custom asset layout that we're creating. Once we are all set and ready, we can start that import and be sure that everything is coming through. After you started your import, Hudu will let you know that it's ready. And if we see certain items not coming through, or maybe we're missing important info, we can always scroll down and double check the logs with that. In this example, we have passwords here, and if I hit view logs, we'll see that we actually had an error on line three, company must exist. Since we weren't able to identify a company as it is case sensitive, this wasn't able to bring in the specific password. So if any data isn't coming through, be sure to check the logs if there are any issues. If you have any more questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to our support team, support.hudu.com, or feel free to comment down below.